So we're like a month into this project and it is not going exactly like we thought, but that's okay. But we've been able to get a lot done even though it's not going as fast as we thought it would. We've moved the seats, floors out, ceilings out, and the side panels are out. So basically all of the demolition process of this build is complete. Yeah, and a couple of days ago, Caleb finished up um, taking out all of those extra wires that we don't need anymore. Yes. It was a ton of wires. Yeah, it was probably like 20, 25 pounds worth of wires that just isn't necessary for vehicles, but it's necessary for school buses. I think one thing that we found a little bit, well, I found surprising, with each step that we accomplished, there's like lots of little steps to accomplish the next step. So I think that's also why it's taking maybe a little bit longer. Caleb also just finished up the welding yesterday of the floors. Yes, so we now have no more holes in our floors. Aside from the small ones from the bolts, we'll patch those up with probably like pennies or something. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah, that's what a lot of people do. I don't, I don't know yet. I'm kind of just, I want to run some like HVAC tape over it and call it a day because I feel like that's going to do the job, but I don't want people to make fun of me, so. Today we are going to be, well Caleb is actually going to start on finally painting the floor. All the rust that's accumulated on the floor already, um, this stuff, I think it's called Core Seal, we'll put a link in the description, basically converts it into primer paint. Uh, we've got to do it twice I believe, but once you do that then we can actually paint the floors themselves and then lay some insulation down. I'm super excited about it because I for one am tired of seeing it in this like scary haunted house yeah, Storm. this skeleton. Yeah, and I feel like every video we've done so far, has, it's looked like this. So it feels a little bit like a plateau, but yeah. we're on an uphill, people. We are embracing changes here soon. So I'm going to get started on doing these floors, and while I'm doing that, we really have to jump on the layout because, believe it or not, we still haven't even started our layout. Yeah. So here we go. Super simple, super boring process, not a whole lot to it. It goes on like a white tan color, then converts to purple, which then converts to black if it's actually doing the converting process. So, which is actually kind of interesting. So now everything's kind of purple, starting to do its job. So appreciate you guys following along. Like it if you like it, dislike it if you don't like it. And if you could subscribe, we would really appreciate it. And definitely comment or share any thoughts you guys have and send this out to as many people as you know that might be interested in doing the school bus conversion, tiny home minimalism thing. Like I said before, it's not about tiny homes. It's not about minimalism, it's not about all those things, but it's about giving yourself the freedom to do what you want to do when you want, because you can. And for us, this bus, this tiny home, is allowing us to make less money, spend less money, and enjoy life with each other, and live the lives that we want to live. So, appreciate you guys. You want to see outside? <gasps> Oh, the morning coffee didn't wake me up, that sure did.